today we'll be dealing with a very important scheme and the beauty about this scheme is it's been recently in news therefore it is important so you know that maybe it's because of election campaign or is it because of uh, whatever reason it's been in news so therefore as civil service aspirants we must be very careful about this scheme because the pm himself has actually spoke about this program and what he has done is he, this program has not been launched in news recently but it has just been extended so the best part about this is he has provided extension of this program for a period of close to 5 years so so that's a very 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 important thing so because of that what you have to understand here is this program is fundamentally for food security so that's the best part in spite of india growing so big economically technically sociologically if you look at something called our look at this part if you look at our global hunger index which is very very important it's not great news a current ranking is 111 out of 125 countries which shows india is supposed to be a superpower by 2040 47 and our global hunger in, hunger index is about 111 so that's not such a great news and to be very frank in 2022 our ranking was 107 and that again went back to 111 so that's not a great news anymore so to make sure that the global hunger, in, un, hunger index is going to come down and the ranks to improve the food security program is a very very important scheme and to be very frank under the fsa food security act if you observe under this program you will have about 66% of the population will be covered under the food security that means so many poor people and needy will be able to get access to food resources in such a way that no one sleeps with hunger especially women as well as children so please remember this is a very very important scheme especially with respect to our examination now coming down why the scheme is very important is because it's the world's largest food security scheme world's largest largest so there's only one largest and that's india now who are the target groups all people out of hunger that is what you ought to understand and how do we reach them among the food, within the food security act we have two schemes one scheme name is aay which is called jot is jot this down antyodaya anna yojana this is aay on which for every household you will have 35 kg of either rice or wheat is being supplied so therefore this is very important now apart from that you have phh which means priority household it's called prior priority householders now per them it is 5 kg per person now in this scheme the beauty is extra another 5 kg can also be added so that's very important now okay the schemes are there but how do we access them how do we avail them so for that the next part how to avail this onorc it's one nation one ration card now how and why this is important is because till recently 
every customer or every person who is coming under the scheme who is taking access of the scheme was fixed only to one particular fair price shop it's called fps so person is linked only to one fair price shop but with this the best part is it's biometric so biometric IDs have been provided in identification shops. You go take your other card, swipe it and anywhere in India, you can access your food through the FPS, anywhere in India. So again, I repeat, previously one person exclusively one FPS, but now they want to make it national. So this is through a biometric ID card. So you swipe it, you can take your FPS anywhere in the country. So that's the best part. Now, this is National Food Securities Act. All these programs come under this beautiful act, which was established in 2013. Now, what's the essence? Previously, it was just a welfare thing, where if the government wants it, it can do it. If it has that good heart, it will do it. But now, that's been converted from welfare to rights. So, every person who under the scheme has the right to ask the government under this act, you are supposed to provide me the food which is necessary. So this is a great, great step. It's a super step. So from welfare based to rights based. Now what you have to understand is, you have to know among the rural as well as the urban, you need to know how much has been provided. Here it is 75% and here it is 50%. So these stats are recently, it can be availed. Now who can, who can avail these programs? All those people who come under PHH as well as AIY schemes, they can all avail the programs and this is what it is, 5 cages and 35 cages. That's the whole thing. Now for women and children, now please try to understand, women, especially lactating mothers, all of them will be given an amount which is definitely greater than or equal to 6,000 rupees. That is the best part. And children below 14 years will be given food for free. So, and the best part is, all those who avail the scheme will be able to buy rice or the necessary requirements at 3 rupees, 2 rupees or 1 rupee per kg. So that's the best part. Very important because huge population is still suffering with hunger. So to avail that, since India being a welfare state, the government and lot of other bodies should be able to do something about it. And all of them through the PDS, the public distribution system and TPDS, targeted public distribution system. So that has to be done by the government. So the next part, who's going to do it? How, 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 how do you think it's going to happen? So what should the government do? Central government has some responsibilities, state government has some responsibilities. The central government under the foot will take care of the FPS overall and within the state through the FPS program targeted public distribution system, the state will take care. And you know this, through the direct benefit transfer, all these things, the food security act, social audit and this is grievance cell and to make sure all of these fellows are working nicely, there is a vigilance committee. So a proper structured organization has been arranged in such a way that that particular scheme which has been launched in 2020 and extended by our Prime Minister for the next five years to make sure that every citizen gets their respective due, a vigilance committee is also being put for checking. So if this happens, what are the advantages? First thing, malnutrition gone. It reduces child mortality. Death rate is very heavy, so that is going to reduce. And affordability and accessibility will happen. And finally, since lactating mothers and children are given special preference, a lot of women empowerment is going to happen. I think this scheme brings an overall empowerment for many Indian citizens.
I hope all of you took down the notes. This is very important. So I'll catch up with another scheme in the next class. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye.